What's going on YouTube? Masex back with another video. Today we're going to be looking at the state of Indiana's top high school recruits for the class of 2024. Now before we get into that, I just want to say, hey, Indiana, we've come a long way in the sport of football. Now historically, we are known as a basketball state. And even to folks that live in Indiana, they probably would still say we're a basketball state. But I'll say more specifically, the last 20 years, and I'll call it the Peyton Manning effect, we've come a long way and we're actually transitioning into more of a football state each year we're pumping out more and more college talent division one talent and even this year as you'll see in this video we've got more four-star recruits than ever more three-star recruits than ever and you're going to see what they're all about today if you're new to this channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button it's a football channel i talk about all three levels high school college and the pros and without further ado let's get to it Alrighty, so we're going to be using 24-7's composite scores, and I'm going to split this actually up into two. We got 30 guys, 30 ballers that you're getting ready to know. So I'm going to split this up, part one, the next video will be part two. But starting with the number one ranked high school recruit in the state of Indiana, five-star recruit Mylon Graham at a New Haven High School in New Haven, Indiana. As I mentioned, he's a five-star prospect. Indiana, we don't get too many of those, I'll be honest. This is a rare breed right here. Composite score of .9918, very close to a perfect score. The number six receiver in the nation, listed at six foot one, 170 pounds. Graham has 26 total offers at this point. He's committed to Ohio State. The last seven years or so, Ohio State's become the new wide receiver U. And when you watch this guy's film nothing but entertainment get your popcorn ready i'm so impressed with his route running he clearly puts in the work in the off season to perfect that i'm not used to seeing receivers with this type of footwork and this type of awareness in football iq particularly when it comes to running routes, soft hands, elite production. Nothing is surprising that I'm telling you, or at least you can imagine what I'm saying, considering he is a five-star recruit. I think he's gonna play as a freshman at Ohio State next year. 24-7 projects him as an early day two pick. I'm looking forward to watching him his senior year, but most definitely in the next couple years to come. All right, at number two, our second best player in the state of Indiana is Nitarian Tuggle out of Northwood High School in Napanee, Indiana. Tuggle is a four-star recruit with a 24-7 composite score of .9512. He's the 16th ranked receiver in the nation, listed at six foot one, already made 190 pounds, 30 total offers, Tuggle is committed to the University of Georgia. Very prestigious. Georgia is the two-time defending national champions. Like I mentioned with his size, really good size at the receiver level, he looks like one of the stronger guys on the field. Good coordination, very elusive with the ball. He's a catch and run type of guy, can break tackles after he gets his hands on the ball. Also as a sprinter in track and field, really good player. Another guy that I expect to play rather early in his power five career. The number three ranked player is Ian Moore at a New Palestine High School in New Palestine, Indiana. Very prestigious high school. Moore is a four-star recruit with a composite score of .9438, listed as the number seven interior offensive lineman in the nation. 6'5", 295 pounds is what he's listed at. 23 total offers, and like Mylon Graham, he is committed to the Ohio State University. Versatile player, also played on the D-line. Uh, looking at his highlight tape shot put and discus and track and field very versatile guy coming out of high school three sport athlete got great measurables dominates the line of scrimmage everything you'd expect for a four-star offensive lineman projects to be a starter pretty early at ohio state has legitimate chances of the nfl as well projected to be a day two pick the way he moves his feet very strong very powerful finishes his blocks I'm excited to watch this guy dominate at At number four, we have Bronte Johnson from Northside High School in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Johnson's a four-star recruit with a composite score of .9302. Johnson is the number 13th athlete in the nation, a lanky six foot three, 170 pounds, 19 total offers. He's gonna stay up in Northern Indiana as he's committed to Notre Dame. Johnson watching his tape, very long, very athletic, very versatile. 
Uh, he can play cornerback or wide receiver. He does look further ahead right now as a wide receiver, but I do think potentially he could have more potential at defensive back because of his length and athleticism. Six foot three, cornerbacks don't grow on trees. Right now projects to be a late day two, early day three pick. I think Notre Dame is gonna get a baller. I think he's gonna be a, a well-known name. Johnson's a really good sleeper. I mean, he's number four in the state of Indiana, but I do think that he'll be a well-known name in another three, maybe four years from now. All right, and at number five, we have Styles Prescott out of Hamilton Southeastern High School in Fishers, Indiana. Prescott is a four-star recruit with a composite score of .8996. He's the number 27th ranked offensive tackle in the nation, towering six foot six, listed at 280 pounds. He's committed to Notre Dame. Prescott is obviously a really good player, dominates at the line of scrimmage, whoever's faced in front of him. Hamilton Southeastern is probably 10 minutes from where I live. I watched him play on two occasions last year. He's everything of six foot six. He stands out pretty much NFL size already. Projects to be a starter at Notre Dame. Can get second level. He can move. He's pretty athletic for his size. When he gets his hands on you, he's not letting go until you're on the ground. And Prescott is a player that you need to keep your eyes on for the next couple years. Seriously. All right, and at number six, we have Tyler Cherry from Center Grove High School in Greenwood, Indiana. Cherry's a four-star recruit with a composite score of .8958. He's the number 25th ranked quarterback in the nation, listed at six foot five, 205 pounds. Cherry's committed to Duke right now. So Cherry at Center Grove High School, it's a powerhouse right now. They're ranked nationally in the nation. Three peak coming off of, going for the fourth this year in his senior year. Cherry backed up former four-star recruit Taven Jackson, set a single season record in passing yards last season, 2,269 yards. Cherry also set the record for completions in a season with 140. The man can let it rip. Last year, 22 passing touchdowns, five interceptions, four rushing touchdowns. Center Grove High School has really become a powerhouse. You got to be able to play if you're going to start, especially if you're going to start for multiple years like Tyler Cherry has. And Tyler Cherry going to Duke, solid program. I'm looking forward, and we have a pretty good quarterback prospect on a very dominant high school team in the state of Indiana. Our seventh ranked high school recruit in the state of Indiana is Danny O'Neill from Cathedral High School, located in Indianapolis, Indiana. O'Neill is a three-star recruit with a composite score of .8786, so a highly ranked three-star recruit. He's the 41st ranked quarterback in the nation, listed at six foot, 185 pounds. 19 total offers. Committed to Colorado and Deion Sanders next year. He's also part of the Elite 11 rosters. Cathedral, another powerhouse in the state of Indiana, not just on the field, but also in other sports as well as in the classroom. All right, and at number eight, we have Josiah Edmonds at Northwood High School this year in Napanee, Indiana. Edmonds is a three-star recruit with a composite score of .8753, the number 65th ranked cornerback in the nation, listed at six foot one, 180 pounds. Edmonds holds 12 total offers at the time, committed to Michigan. Originally in Indianapolis, Indiana, high school career, at Warren Central High School, my former alma mater. Played multiple positions, basically did not come off the field. Receiver, cornerback, quarterback, running back, even played punter. Originally was a Purdue commit, not too long ago flipped to Michigan once that offer was official. Watched him a little bit. As I mentioned, he's from Indianapolis, Indiana. And with all the versatility that he provides, looks like cornerback is his greatest ceiling. That's what he's projected to play at. I watched him make plays all over over the field, pretty instinctive, can lock you down, has really good size, long arms. I really like Edmonds. At number nine, we have Hadari Hines from Franklin Central High School in Indianapolis, Indiana. Hines is a three-star recruit with a composite score of .8714, the 69th ranked cornerback in the nation, six foot two, 185 pounds. Hines has 10 total offers, committed to Purdue, two-sport athlete, very athletic, very fast, really good size at the cornerback position. I think that's a good player to watch. Purdue has a really good recruit this year. 
And at number 10, we have Adamola Ajani from Speedway High School, located in Indianapolis, Indiana. Ajani's a three-star recruit with a composite score of .8700, the 61st ranked interior offensive lineman in the nation. Listed at 6'4", 270 pounds, 13 total offers, and is committed to my IU Hoosiers. Play tackle in high school, projects to be kicked inside at the Division I level. Very powerful, strong. Strong. Looking forward to see him play. At number 11, we have Jaden Hart from Michigan City High School in Michigan City, Indiana. Hart's a three-star recruit with a composite score of .8689. Hart is the 66th ranked running back in the nation, listed at 6 foot, 205 pounds. 14 total offers as a Syracuse commit. Watching his highlight tape, I love the vision. Very patient runner, has good size. Solid balance overall. He broke a lot of tackles in high school, so let's see if he can replace Sean Tucker over at Syracuse. And at number 12, we have another running back. That's Xavier Williams from Lake Central High School, located in St. John, Indiana. Williams is a three-star recruit with a composite score of .8672. The number 70th ranked running back in the nation, listed at 6'2", 220 pounds. 10 total offers, committed to Iowa. You'll see on the field, this is a pretty put-together type of running back right here. Breaks a lot of tackles, really strong. Doesn't mind running you over and embarrassing you. 1,400 yards as a junior, 13 touchdowns, 6.5 yards a carry, also plays basketball. He's going to be your bruiser at the next level for Iowa. We all know Iowa loves to run that ball. That's like O-line tight end nation over there. He's going to fit right into that scheme. At number 13, we have Corey Smith from Brownsburg High School in Brownsburg, Indiana. Smith is a three-star recruit with a composite score of .8672, the number 118th ranked receiver in the nation at 6'1", 170 pounds, 16 total offers, and is committed to Minnesota. Now, last season as a junior, 40 catches for 811 yards and six scores. Big play waiting to happen, 20 yards per catch. So when you only have 40 catches, but you all almost have a thousand yards that lets you know that this guy can take the top off the defense and that's what his highlight film is pretty much all about he's the type of guy you got to know where he is at all time and if you don't the defense is definitely going to have to pay a price our 14th ranked player in Indiana is Evan Lawrence from Danville Community High School in Danville, Indiana. Lawrence is a three-star recruit with a composite score of .8650, the 77th offensive tackle in the nation, 6'7", 250 pounds, six total offers, committed to IU. He's definitely somebody that's going to continue to grow. He has the frame to continue gaining size at 6'7", and I'm looking forward to seeing Evan Lawrence on the IU campus next year. All right, and at number 15, where we're going to end today's video is Ransom McDermott from Noblesville High School in Noblesville, Indiana. McDermott is a three-star recruit with a composite score of .8644, the 79th offensive tackle in the nation, 6'7", 300 pounds, 12 total offers, committed to Louisville. This dude's big, big, big. Watch his tape, and you'll know exactly who he is. Very strong mauler. That's the first thing after watching watching 15 seconds of his tape. Noblesville, honestly, the last few years has just been crazy pumping out these big, talented offensive linemen. And my last video, another was committed to Purdue. All they do is run the ball 98% of the time, and you gotta have linemen to do so. But Ransom McDermott, run blocking specialist. That's what he's gonna do for Louisville. May need to develop pass blocking. I really like watching his film. It's very fun to watch and just seeing him dominate the high school competition. All right, there you have it. These are the top 15 high school recruits for the 2024 class out of the good old state of Indiana. I'll continue part two, 16 to 30 in the next video here in the near future. But if you haven't already, I deeply appreciate it if you liked the video and definitely subscribe to the channel. And subscribing will also give you access and notifications to the videos that are coming in the future. We are on the road to 1K. Be on the lookout for part two, as I mentioned, and I'll see you guys in the next video.